A ride-sharing vehicle is to complete an interstate trip totaling a thousand kilometers at a constant speed of V kilometers per hour. And you're like, well, I haven't even got started the question. There's a lot to take in. So can I just make a suggestion, which is for all questions that are a bit like this, where it's like, there's a paragraph. Sometimes in the HSC, it'll be like an entire page, right? Because there's many parts. Um, the first important thing to do before we begin solving anything is to note down the information that we think is important. So I've just read the first sentence. What stands out to you as the essential information that we need to take note of? Okay, fantastic. So um, what would you write down for that one? The rate is 6 plus okay, yep, so you're already getting to um, the um, consumption rate of the fuel. So let's write that down. Uh, this is the, the car consumes fuel at the rate of, so this is fuel consumption. And by the way, even though it may seem a little bit like, oh man, can we avoid writing so many words? There's gonna be a lot of equations flying around, so it's super important that as we write things down, we know what it is they're referred to. So I've got six plus V squared on 50, is that right? Yeah. And then the unit is liters per hour. Okay, now Divya, before we um, move off of this, can I actually just rewind a step? Go back to that very first sentence. There's some information in there that's also important, which it's not in the form of an equation, but it still matters. What can you see in that first sentence that's important? Um, the constant speed of kilometers be kilometers. Okay, fantastic. So I've got a constant speed that the, um, what's traveling? It's a it's a vehicle, <laughs> a car, I guess. Um, so constant speed, and you just said it was V kilometers per hour. Is there anything else essential in that first sentence? It's like a number, right? Good, so this is the total journey, so a thousand kilometers. So I'll say um, total journey. Okay, now the thing that we're doing at the moment, um, fancy name for it, it's called mathematizing so like you said there's all these like sentences and words but we're trying to draw out what are the important bits and pieces okay uh, then it says it starts like we haven't even got to a question yet right it says as a bonus the company has offered to pay and then there's all this stuff here right so this is to do with how much the person is going to earn like this is this is how much fuel they're using but then presumably they're actually going to make some money off of this journey right so there's a lot there i'm going to read it and then you tell me which you think is important right as a bonus the company's offered to pay 50 cents per liter for fuel and for safety two drivers uh where they will each be paid 45 dollars per hour whilst they are completing the trip. Okay, so <laughs> um, there's two pieces of information there, right? So one of them is per liter. So this is 50 cents per liter. So we'll sort of write that down as a, um, it's a fuel, uh, it's like a rebate, I suppose. They're like, you're spending money on your fuel. We'll pay you back a little bit for the fuel. Okay. Now, by the way, um, I'm going to call this like the fuel rebate, I guess. Um, it's 50 cents per what? Um, per liter. 50, yeah, very good. 50 cents per liter. By the way, just on that, I don't know how old this question is, but does that seem like it's going to cover all of it? Do you know much about fuel costs? <laughs> it's not even close, right? Um, I actually just filled up my petrol today and it was like a dollar ninety or something ridiculous. But anyway, at least it's a little bit. And then the other thing um, that they get paid is is not a per liter cost. It's a uh, dollars per watt. Very good. So this is forty-five dollars per hour. So this is kind of like a hmm. What would we call this? I suppose it's like the driver's fee, I guess. What do we just say? Forty-five dollars per hour. Is that right? Okay. Fantastic. Now. There's a lot even just on here, right? And by the way, don't feel bad if this is a question that challenged you, right? Part of what is challenging about this is not only do you have lots of different piece of information, but the rates that you've got here, right? You've got dollars per hour. You've got cents per liter, liters per hour, 
and then kilometers per hour. So these rates all interact with each other, but not a single one of them is actually the same. Do you see that? So there's a lot in there, so don't feel bad that it's confusing. Okay, then it says, let's see represent total cost, so C for cost, um, of fuel and the driver's wages for the trip. Okay, so let's just write that down. So C equals cost of fuel plus what was the other thing? Um, where is it? Driver's wages. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what's, what's nice about this part is that there is actually um, a result given to us. So we need to assemble all of this stuff and then the result they're gonna get us to is this. C equals, all right, you can see the result there. It's 10 V plus, is that 93,000? 93,000 over V. Very good. If the company was to pay for two drivers, actually I'll just stay with that color right there. Okay, Whew. now let's have a look at it for a minute. When you have a look at this question here, right, or rather at this result that we're trying to get to, right, are there any clues at all that you can see which sort of connect you to this? Are there any bits that you like say, oh, I can, I can relate that, or does it all seem like there's not really any connection? What do you reckon? Um, mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, good. The V, I know where that's gonna come in. Very good, okay. What else can you see? Mm, fuel consumption rate. Mm -hmm. So I know that I've got this V here, right? And then the fuel consumption rate, you can see it also has Vs in it, right? So I'm gonna do some substitution of this um, and that's gonna end up with like, when they all come together, that will give me some of the Vs that are here, okay? Uh, what about this driver's fee? This $45 per hour, where do you think that's gonna fit in? Mm, and there are, let's have a look, it actually says they will each be paid $45. So in fact, this is going to be each. So this gets doubled, right? Because there's two drivers. Okay, so it's really important to know, right? Okay, so now what we need to try and do is combine, if you have a look at this, right? Can you see that this cost, because it's totally to do with V, this, Right. I need to try and get all the other bits and pieces out of the way. So for example, I'm like, oh, okay, I want a driver's fee. It's gonna be $45 per hour, but I don't know how many hours it's going to take. You can, can you see there's no thing here that says, what's the total number of hours for the journey? So I kind of have to work that out. So let's actually start to piece that together, right? So for example, if I consider total hours, so now this is me trying to work through some of the information that I've got here, okay? So where Divi and I uh, left off was, we want to get to this by trying to assemble all of this information. And part of what's hard about this question is, number one, it's just heaps of information. Number two, it's all of different, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you guys know when you first met SIRDS, do you remember that in year nine? You're like irrational numbers, right? If you had something like a root three and a root five and a root two in an equation, none of them talk to each other, right? You've got to do things to them in order to have them like collected like terms and so on. And that's exactly what you've got here, but in calculus terms, all the rates are talking different languages. Kilometers per hour, liters per hour, cents per liter, dollars per hour. It's all a jumble, okay? All right. So at the moment, where do you know we're up to was, this cost is gonna have something to do with how many hours they've been driving, but we don't even know, like it doesn't tell us how long they drive for. But we can work it out. Have a think about this, right? Suppose I told you that they did a thousand kilometers as a total journey, but they did it at 50 kilometers per hour. So this is an actual speed now. You guys could tell me how long that journey would take, right? You can use a calculator if you like, but I've chosen an easy number. How long is that going to take? 20 hours. 20 hours, yeah? What was your name, sorry? Hajiv. Hajiv. How did you get 20? 100 divided by 50. 100 divided by 50? 1,000 divided by 50. The answer was correct, right? So 1,000 kilometers at that rate, 20 hours. Now, that's easy because like, it's an actual number I don't have an actual number, but the process is the same. So instead of saying 1,000 divided by 20, I'm just gonna go 1,000 divided by what? V. v. 
because that can change, right? Now just pause for a minute. Do you see this is a good sign, right? Because this over V here, like where did that come from? It came from here. It came from us saying, if I wanna know how long this takes, I'm gonna to have to do a division of some kind. So far so good?